We are in the Napoleonic Hall of the Palazzo Serbelloni. I first came here about five years ago. When I saw this space, I had a dream. I knew this is the place to do an amazing exhibition when the right time comes. And the right time came this year. We have introduced some amazing collections based on craftsmanship. And why craftsmanship is matching this place? Because the old Czech bohemian craftsmen, about more than 200 years ago, they manufactured all the chandeliers you see here. Some of our design, they are also in a way historical, create decorative designs, but with a twist. And then we have many new contemporary modern designs. So Maxim Melchowski, our creative director, he basically is behind this concept. He chose all the designers, he set the tone for the whole exhibition. We got a very interesting brief from Maxim. Uh, he said uh, he would like to have a chandelier that is based on components, you know, where every component could almost be a product in itself. And then if you look at uh, the separate pieces from the side, you can actually see it's a profile of a classic chandelier. So it's a little bit of a reference to old and classic chandeliers uh, that uh, found its way into this new design. I always like to paint inspired by very ancient, very natural powers like the ancient mythologies and their symbols for life, for love, for, for uh, the, the, the richness in nature and also Baroque is for me the symbol of, of showing this richness. So for me it's the, the way of Baroque painting it shows uh, it's fantastic how, how rich nature can be, how rich uh, feeling can be. Ten lustr to taková jako uh, reminiscence toho tradičního tereziánského aristokratického předmětu klasického. Princip těch ověsů je celý založený na jakýsi nedokončenosti a ty ověsy jednotlivý zůstávají ve výrobní fázi, kdy neprochází ještě tím finálním pracováním. I think Ludwig it's a balance between rational and irrational, between mathematic calculation and beautiful and uh, past image. Uh, we start from the chandelier from the Ludwig Palace in Baviera, in Germany. And when we enter in a gold room and we see this beautiful shape of crystal chandelier, we say, why not, to remember the King Ludwig. The idea of tactile collection is really about questioning uh, the materiality of glass. The feeling of touching tactile is a very important part of the project. The feeling of running your fingers uh, on the glass, um, just as the experience that I had in Prague, in the factory, in the workshop, um, and running my hand on the molds and really feeling uh, the the texture of the molds. And that's a memory that I want to uh, infuse uh, into this particular glass collection. My idea was to take this uh, topic, the memento mori, and uh, translate it into a new context. Uh, so it's not only the reflection of mortality, but uh, also I look at the passing of the craft from generation to generation. The sculpture itself consists of uh, hundreds of bones and uh, some of them are made in a press technique, some of them are modeled by the most skillful craftsmen in our country. We came with an idea to uh, design a giant uh, meteorite which landed here uh, uh, in this amazing building in Milan. While we were doing the research for the concept, we found out that actual meteorite hit the Earth uh, in the middle of Europe. It happened 40 million years ago. This impact left behind uh, pieces of space glass, which is uh, green and it's very rare. And it can be found in the area of Czech Republic, but we are based and when we are producing the Bohemian crystal.
because it's always a challenge to display new designs, new work in a place with many uh, historic pieces. So through the separation that you see around, uh, we have created a very unique atmosphere, a very unique space, and it's a very strong uh, message. Thank you.